Welcome everyone to another exciting episode of StarMade, heck yeah! And in today's episode I want to show you something astonishingly complicated and complex and I really, I spent the past two hours probably just trying to figure it out and I think I finally got the hang of it and I can actually really show you what's going on with a special crafting setup. So you will be amazed what you can actually do and what is probably planned in the future for StarMate. It's just incredible but there is so few documentation on the internet how it really works so today I'm gonna provide you with an in-depth tutorial at least on how to get started a lot of the stuff you'll still have to figure out on your own because it just it just is mind-blowing so it doesn't actually deal with the factory system we have shown in the previous episodes it's something completely different and we shall uh, figure it out right away so first things first we need to understand what we are doing it is gonna be really really complicated guys I'm gonna try to illustrate it with some text on the screen just to make it a little bit easier for you to understand but if you have a numpad you have to hit the number 5 key on the numpad if you don't have one because you're playing on a laptop you can change and rebind the key in the controls menu but you will be presented with a menu like this now before we get too deep into that menu we need to understand that this different symbols that are appearing right here. If you first open this up you will not have any of those symbols because you haven't split any items yet. But let's go to those symbols before we go any deeper into the menu. Right, so those symbols are actually called cubitoms and you get them by splitting up your different blocks. You get different outcomes, right? Now let's try to understand all the different symbols that are on here. It's actually less complicated as you might think. First up we're gonna observe the yellow icon on the top here. It can either be a minus symbol, which means it has a null spill. It can be a straight line down, which means it is a base spin. It can also have a plus sign, which would represent the anti-spin. And finally can have a X, which means super spin. Next up, we're gonna observe the blue circles. Now, the blue circles represent the mass. If it is filled out, it means it has a negative mass. If it has one line, it means it has a light mass. Two lines would represent a medium mass. And finally, three lines just like that represent a heavy mass. Next up, we have the state of matter, which is represented with the uh, red dots right here. One single dot means it is a solid state of matter, two dots are, mean it is liquid, three dots represent gas, and four dots represent plasma. Finally, we have those things around the blue circles which represent the conductivity. So uh, two of those bracket shaped circles or white lines mean draining, it has a draining ability. Uh, two straight lines, like so, those two, would mean it is has a conductive uh, ability. Arrows would mean it is super conductive. And last but not least, we have those uh, zigzag lines, which mean it has insulating properties. Okay, and that's basically it. Now we only need to know how to combine different things and what outcome we can expect. To begin to understand this interface a little bit better, it's best we populate it with a bunch of cubitoms by splitting up a bunch of our items that we have in abundance. So uh, you are gonna switch to the split tab right here and we are just gonna drag and drop a bunch of materials in here and you can actually see the outcome and how many you want to sacrifice for this process. We're just gonna hit the OK key and we can see that they are getting sorted out with a specific matter that I'm gonna explain in just a second. Right here we're just gonna drag and drop everything that I have in here. It's just a bunch of different materials that we'll 
yield different outcomes. Well, now that we have a bunch of those cubitons in our interface, I can actually explain you how it works. And you can already see that it's being sorted out in some way. And this is not by accident. There are two criteria applying to the sorting system for those nine squares. First of all, we have the different lines, which are affected by the mass. Up here, we have everything that has a negative mass. If you remember, full blue circle, negative mass. One line is the light mass. Two lines is the medium mass. And everything that would be a heavy mass would actually land outside the uh, interface right here, somewhere uh, outside the nine squares. The second criteria is for the different rows. Right here we have everything that only has one dot, as you can see. One dot means solid. So everything that is solid is right here. Everything that has two dots, which is liquid, is in the second row. And everything with three dots, which, uh, what was that again, that was gas, is in the third line. And everything that is plasma, which has four dots, so it's maxed out, would be also landing outside the interface. So let's dive into the Refine tab right here. In this tab, you may combine two different cubitons in order to get a different outcome. And also here we have a bunch of criteria that we have to consider on how to actually combine those. And of course the reason we want to combine them into specific cubitoms, you can actually see all the different cubitoms that are possible right here. There's a slot for every possible combination. And uh, we want them of course to in the end fabricate everything that we don't have, everything that we want, for instance some white halls. That is probably the aim of today's episode. Just to create a bunch of white halls through this system. Nice! So, let's see how those criteria actually apply. First of all, we have to spin the yellow icon on the top. You can combine anti plus anti, which is represented with a plus, so if I had plus plus plus, I would end up with a null, right here, a null spill. So this is how you get a null spill. If you combine a null plus null, let's combine a uh, minus plus minus, you will actually get a base spin. That's how you get the base spin. Finally, we have base plus base. Let's see if we get that. We have one base here and another base here, and you end up with a super spin. That's how you get the super spin. Next up, we have the mass. You can combine two negative masses in order to get a light mass, two light masses in order to get a medium mass, and two medium masses, of course, in order to get the heavy mass. Next up, we have the state of matter, which is, if you remember, represented with the red dots. You can combine two single red dots in order to get uh, to the liquid stage. So two uh, solid plus solid will equal liquid. Liquid plus liquid will equal uh, the gas state. And finally, gas plus gas will equal the plasma state. And finally, we have the conductivity, which you can combine uh, conductive plus conductive. Let's see, that was the two straight lines. One like this plus this will equal a superconductive. Also, there is the draining. So you can combine a draining plus another draining. The brackets, where do we have another draining? Right there, in order to get the insulator, like there. And also you can combine two insulators in order to get the conductive state. So this is how you can influence the different states. The problem is just that all four traits actually will combine with a different element. And it's really hard to get the exact outcome that you are really hoping to go for. What is actually a little bit easier is to get the different materials outside the nine squares. And you do that by, for instance, maxing out a single trait. So right now I want to max out, for instance, everything or this trait into plasma state. Now this is maxed out in a few specific ways, so we don't necessarily need to do that. Let's combine those two guys and we are maxed out only with the red dots. So the red dots are the maxed out stat, but if I combine that, it will land outside the grid right here. And something like that is mostly used in the recipe that we want to create. But before we now fabricate or combine any animal elements, we need to know which block we're going for and what this block actually requires uh, cubitom-wise. 
the easiest way to find out what cubitoms are required for the specific block that you want is to go to a shop and highlight the block. So for instance I want to go for the white horse and I can now see what I require. I require a, a negative mass, null spill, gas, insulator, a cubitom as well as a negative anti-spin solid and draining cubitom and the third one is a heavy mass and anti-spin so those are the three elements that I need now those two guys I can actually get directly from splitting up other materials and the way to find out how to get those is in the split menu right here open up the list of compounds and you can search for the symbols that you require now this is maybe a little bit of a tedious task and uh, but it you know it's just for the fun if you have the time for it you can use this system but i already did some uh, work ahead of time so i don't bore you guys and i found out that the two symbols that i require i will get from power supply beams as well as gravity units so if i pull in one of those guys i will have this symbol right here which is the one that is required if we go right here that's this one right here and also if I put in one of those guys I will get this one right here which is the symbol next to it right there there's only one symbol left that we need and that is this special heavy mass anti-spin symbol and this we can only get by refining our items or uh, cubitons as they are called. So let's refine those guys. We know that we want a heavy mass thing so it's probably best to go by combining two medium mass uh, together. So let's get rid of that, combine those two guys and we will not end up with a plus sign just yet but uh, we will have to go to, uh, through different stages in order to be able to achieve that. Oh, there we go. At long last, I kind of managed to get a combination that will yield me heavy mass and also the plus symbol. Everything else doesn't really matter as long as those two properties are correct. Also, we still have this guy and this guy right here, which are the three symbols required. So, let's go into the fabricate stage and I already have chosen the white hall from this drop down list and you can see that this guy is required and we actually have it here so we can click it and we can hit the OK button and there we have one piece of white hall. Nothing easier than that. Now, of course, you will have to do this in a little bit of a bigger fashion. So, for instance, we uh, throw in uh, all of those power supply beams and stuff like that. And as you can see, the quantity is also represented with a yellow bar at the bottom. Well, guys, since this is more of a tutorial episode, I don't want to do anything else in this one, but I'm going to record another StarMate episode right away after this one. I want to upload this today, and I don't want to kind of split this episode into a half tutorial, half let's play, so we're just going to keep it at what it is so far. Let me know in the comment section what I forgot about the crafting system, or how we could make this more efficient and also more useful because it was kind of tedious to only get one white hall block but also very interesting and it was also just for demonstration hopefully you understood everything about the crafting system if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments I will answer everything that I uh, can and know the answer to of course so uh, be aware there's going to be another Starmate episode so it's very shortly in a few days probably on the weekend or so I'm gonna release it uh, so uh, you are not too disappointed that this one felt out a little bit short so I am going to see you soon thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial which there is a uh, very few documentation as I said on the internet also a uh, very few YouTube videos I uh, practically have found out nothing and now it's up to us to kind of uh, get better at this system. So I'm uh, looking forward to all your suggestions and feedback and hopefully I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye bye.